let's think about science and the relation of science with commercial secrets and religion. So, when we think about uh, science, right? Plus commercial secrets are commercial confidentiality science plus commercial confidentiality commercial secrets industrial secrets is equal religion religion pay attention on this when we talk about commercial confidentiality, we are talking about faith, right? Or belief. So, for example, we don't have access to a software and we need believe in the word of the, in, the incorporation that developed this software we need trust then that anything wrong will happen with our microphones or video cameras right it will respect us so if there is a commercial secret no one can see the code the source of the software as well as when we have a uh, vaccine for example a remedy and there is a patent on that technology we don't know how the remedy was built so this is not open knowledge and when we don't have open knowledge we have faith we have belief right so uh, we can think why vaccine in a global pandemic has patents let's break this patent right so everyone can see how it's made and the liability of the pharmaceuticals are better established with an open knowledge right so when science when we talk about science we talk about reason right reason so we also can think a faith on reason right we have Faith on reason, because science is a lot of hypothetical thinking that is true until someone refute that, right? So it's a truth that uh, is determined in a space and a time and can change, right? So. A lot of persons have faith in the reason and religion also have reason because when we think on the secret uh, considered books on a lot of religions we can find moral rules juridical rules right so concerning this the juridical science you can find reason in religion right so and, and if we take the religion and change the signal to minus minus what the faith we have science 
right? So let's come back here. Reason and religion. It's also important when you think that there is an interpretation of this reason, this veridical and this moral rules. So interpretation. And if we think about a judge, when the judge in a judicial system, right, will apply the jurisdiction, he will make the interpretation of the proofs, evidence. So, a judge will interpret the evidence. And this will works as a reason for a conviction that is fake. So you can understand that science and religion both works with faith and reason, right? So let's start talking again about science and religion, the difference among science and religion and the similarities, right? So when we think about uh, the Tao, the Tao is the question is the natural way for science as well as the faith, the belief is the natural way for religion. But pay attention on this. Science and religion both depends on causality. What is causality? Everything has a cause, right? From a cause, we have an effect. Okay, causality. So, if we will, we can put here science, religion. Right? Science, religion, both causality. We can find causality and reason. as well as in faith or belief, right? So, here we have the side of science and religion, causality. Science is always looking for the causes of the natural phenomenon, right? Or the mental Phenomenon. What is the cause, the root cause, the necessary cause? And what was the first cause, right? The cause that caused itself. Well, this is the limit. This is extreme. So here we have a problem to be solved and religion will solve this problem uh, considering 
both possibilities. If we think on two of uh, the most uh, biggest religions today, that is Christianity and the Islam, right? Islamism. So, Christianity, we have the creation. There is a cause for the wor world, for the man and the woman. There is a cause. God is this cause, right? According to Christianity. Or if we think in the Islamism, we can think that the absolute is that was never generated and never generates. So we can find in these two monotheism religions, right? Concepts that use the causality principle. So again to the side of science or Thinking philosophy, Descartes, the constant doubt, right? The side of science. And you can go to the Greeks and think not on uh, in Descartes, in the modernity, but also in the Greeks we can think about Socrates, right? So, we need always put the doubt as the way, the question as the way for the science go further. And at the same time, we can think that in religion, we do the same thing, right? Why we do the same thing? Because every time there is a doubt on the faith, and the secret, considered secret books will give a solution, the faith, faith, the belief. So, you have doubt, but you cannot have doubt on the belief, on the faith. So, being the science, being the religion, we always have the problem of causality. What was the first cause for science? Oh, the Big Bang. No. There's other theories also. So we also can think that the universe is an eternity element, right? Universe already exists. So, uh, and there's uh, physicists that think in this way, right? And not in a way that, well, there is a creation, there is a moment, and there is a singularity. And at the side of this, the religion, we have the both religion, like Christianity and Islamism, talking about creation and the eternity. But pay attention, causality, causality is always present anything be science be religion science and religion are ways to try to explain the world for the human being right and both needs the principle of causality that's the first question what is the universe or where I came from, or what is the fucking life? What is what this means? Life, human life. 
So, a lot of questions. When you die, you go for some place or not? You always are thinking the causality, right? The causality principle is always in the doubts, in the questions, and in the faith, in the belief, right? So, we need always have in mind that science and religion are not so different, right? Let's again on causality. Let's think on causality because when uh, we can understand that religion as well as science works with the causality principle, let's investigate this principle. What is causality? Every effect has a previous cause, right? Every cause has an effect. But one effect have a lot of cause, yes. How can I how can I discover what is the necessary cause or the strongest cause or the main cause or better? What is the first cause of all the other causes? And here we are again in the limit of the science and the religion. But, of course, if everything has a cause, we are talking about time. What is the cause of the present? The past. But the past exists. So, we can think that all the universe is changing. So when I do this movement, everything do a kind of movement. So there is a picture, there is one moment, and again one moment, and again one moment for all the persons, right? My action is able to change the universe. Is my action able to change the universe? Because if this is true, it's also true that all the actions happens once in a moment. So, the present is the result, is the result of all actions of all humans and all actions of the planets, the stars. So, when you move something in another place of the universe, this will change at the same moment or will not change but will be part of that moment right so if we think about time and creation and time and eternity this time a circle or it's a line with a beginning and with an end. So all 
this question, these questions on causality start to uh, open a way in metaphysics, ontology, epistemology, right? So, causation, causality, if everything happens in a moment, if past, it's our memory, if future is the same of hypothesis, hypothesis, if the present is the only thing that is real and present are a moment so we are talking about the essence of the world right we are talking about what go further of the physics inside the being we are talking about the essence of the being No moment. And after another moment. So, we also can think that the world is something like one and zero are true and false. Are exist, do not exist, or I think that is something like this. Well, I don't know the correct uh, symbol, but the idea is everything is what exists, nothing it's on a name is just a name. The true is everything that exists, the present, the moment. The non-existence is the part of the process. So, we are talking about causality, but we are in the way that the arrival point is dialect. Right? We are talking about dialects. We are talking about something that exists and something that do not exist. And this movement as the movement of life. Right? So, coming back. In the beginning, we are talking about the difference of science and religion and the similarities. Similarities are in a greater number than differences, right? Reason and faith, causality, and now dialect. Because if you pay attention, we are talking about everything and nothing. We are talking about God and no God. We are talking about everything, no thing. So, we are in the field of dialectics. When we go looking for causality, right? What is the cause? What is the cause? We start to think, well, maybe there is no first cause. There is eternity. And maybe causality is just 
a movement of dialects. So the effect, the effect is the negation in a dialect sense of the cause. When the effect exists, if you get out the cause, the effect does not exist. So it's a kind of opposition, right? Think about Heraclitus, Heraclitus, Heraclitus. In a river, when you go inside the river for a second time, or if you stay inside the river, you are not the same. The river, the Water is not the same. What is the same? The margin of the river, right? So, we are talking about the difference and the identity. We are talking about the existence and the not existence. We are talking about movement. Well, we were talking about causality, dialects, and movement. Movement. When we think movement, uh, of course, it's difficult you imagine some situation that you do not relate the uh, movement with time and space, right? Time. We already talked about I am, I was, I will be. The real is the present. What I want to be. If I live in this side, Psychologically, I will be a person with anxiety at the side of the past. If I'm related with the past, I will suffer with, let's say, With roots, you cannot fly. So, you live with depression if you are in the side of the past. So, the only thing that exists is the presence. We already talked about the time and the space. What we can say about the space? Well, We can have a virtual space, we can have a physical space, and the movement happens in the time and in space. When it happens, where it happens, it's like if time and space are conditioning, uh, conditions of our structure of thinking. Uh, so, let's come back to 
Causality, dialects, movement, time and space. We are talking about causality. We can think that this object has a cause or we can think that this object can have many causes, right? Like Aristotle in the ancient philosophy. So there's a material cause, there's a formal cause that works together in the being, right? But this is the ancient philosophy in the Greeks thinking about episteme, the knowledge, right? When we think about science and modernity, for example, Thomas Hobbes will deny Aristotle. For the science in modernity, doesn't matter if an object has, if a substance has many causes, right? And movement in the ancient philosophy will be the act, right? One of the causes when what, what are in potence become in act. And in modernity, does it matter if this object was caused by a material and a formal thing, no, it doesn't matter. What matters in the scientific method of modernity is the relation among the objects, right? It's the relation among the objects. And causality is related with the movement, right? Who have, who have power. If you have power, you have movement, you have liberty, you have freedom. There is a relation among the sovereignty right and the citizen for example so what matters is the relation among the objects instead of the ancient philosophy that are concerned with the being right so it's very interesting we pay attention that we are talking about the essence of the being, we need to think on causality in the ancient philosophy. We want to talk about this scientific method of modernity, we are talking about causality also, among objects, right? So, pay attention to this. Doesn't matter the approach, right? Doesn't matter the approach concerning knowledge meant in the ancient philosophy or in the modernity. Doesn't matter. One thing that it's always present is causality. So we need to think what is causality? Right? The term is movement. But causality also concerning the Greek understanding of Aristotle, Aristotle for example. 
right? A bang. That is the result of many causes. Again, we are talking about causality. When we look to the death, to the image that we have about the death in our mind, we think about causality, right? Let me try to explain what I'm doing in these last videos. It's very common that uh, lawyers, judges, prosecutors in the juridical area are it's very common that engineers mathematicians, physicians, physicists, I'm sorry, are, it's very common that scientists, why I'm na naming these categories because it's very common that each of these professional categories do not think about the essence of the objects that in the daily lives they need to deal. For example, lawyers, judges and prosecutors shall to deal with the issue of justice. So, in a moment, these persons shall to think about what is justice, right? In the same meaning, physicists, they deal with the measuring of the world, the nature world, world right? But if you ask, what is causality for a physicist? There is no good answer. In the same meaning, mathematicians, they calculate, computate, quick knocking all the time. But if you ask, what is computation? What is calculation for a mathematician? There is no good answer. Even in the daily life of a mathematician, they use the numbers calculating. What is a number? But if you ask, the essence of the objects that these professionals in their daily lives works every day. Who think about this? <coughs> Who think about justice? Who think about causality? Who think about calculation? Who think about ethics, politics, statics, philosophy? Philosophy is 
で Human structure that permits a human being be analytical and critical its criticism its doubt love more than others more than this philosophy is questioning right why we use the term philosophical degree philosophical degree is the degree of knowledge that works with the essence of the objects that everyday professionals work with this is the value of philosophy it's a huge value